Hi everyone and welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Today we are going to be making a low carb version of Panera's recipe of broccoli cheese soup. Now I'm going to be using the Instant Pot and you can totally use a stove top. They have instructions at the bottom for it. Also, I am going to be making one change. In the recipe, it calls for all-purpose flour. I'm not using that. It tells you um, that if you wanna swap it, you can swap it out for one half teaspoon of xanthan gum. Do exactly the same thing. What I will tell you is you can subtract 17 calories. That's counting the xanthan and the um, all-purpose here's the cool thing you can subtract three carbs so the carb count on this meal is normally six carbs per bowl of soup but by switching out the all-purpose flour and doing the low carb way and doing the xanthan gum which is what i'm going to do here we are now only three carbs per bowl of soup other than that it's exactly the same as panera so right now Please follow the more. I'm not gonna say the amount on here, um, just in case I might say something wrong. Um, I will just tell you that I currently have butter, garlic, and onion, and I have it on the saute function in my Instant Pot. Just says two to three minutes until translucent. From there, I am going to be adding broccoli, chicken stock or chicken broth salt and pepper to your liking depends on how peppery how salty you guys like it once i add that we are going to put it on high pressure for four minutes and then i'll tell you the next step we're already getting really close to that translucent Hopefully everybody's doing well. Just wanted to do something different. And I know that it's 100 degrees outside. I know that. But there's just something about broccoli cheese soup. You can have it any time of year. And when I saw that Panera, Panera's recipe showed the swap out on the flour for the xanthan gum to make it low carb, I was like, oh, yes, please. Because normally when I go to Panera, that's what I get is I get a side salad with their broccoli cheese, which I mean, six carbs isn't bad when you're going to a restaurant, but you know, if I can take it down to three, that's even better. I tell you, one of these days they're going to have smell vision because this garlic and onion smells really, really good. Okay. I'm gonna aim it down so you guys can see it. It's getting very nice, fragrant, and melting as I start to add everything. Hope it's not going down too far. You can kind of hear the bubble. I'll try to tilt it a little bit there. It's hard because it's all plugged in. So I've had the onion and the garlic and everything going. I can see through the onion. That's that translucent phase. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the cancel button. And I already went ahead and put the salt and pepper into here just to make it a little bit easier for doing a video. I'm adding the broccoli and I'm adding the chicken broth. I'm doing low sodium since um, we already added salt, pink Himalayan, of course sea salt. So I'm giving this a quick, quick stir through. Later on, we'll be adding some sharp cheddar, some heavy cream, just making sure I've got this all in here. Okay, so starting off here, I'm just going to leave this off to the side. And I am now, this is like, it's done in a few parts. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm doing this backwards. Okay. So I'm now going to go ahead and set it for high pressure at only four minutes. Takes a few minutes to even build pressure. So that is set. 
Now let me tell you what I'm going to do while that is coming to pressure. I'm gonna be getting the two, I'm gonna be getting the sharp cheddar cheese ready and the heavy cream ready. I already have my butter in here. I'm gonna melt the butter and I'm gonna stir in half a teaspoon of the xanthan gum because it's gonna make my roux and we're gonna start to thicken a cheese sauce when I come back. All right, so I have done a quick release and now I have it on the saute function. You just heard it beep there. From here, we are going to, just making sure, um, we're gonna add in the heavy whipping cream and the cheddar cheese and we're gonna add that into the pot and stir. So we wanna make sure, cause it's not fully hot and we don't wanna get in cold. So adding the heavy cream, let me get back my wooden spoon here. Giving that a good stir. And you can either shave a, a brick of cheese or you can do it my way, which is the lazy, dirty keto or most traditional low carb. Just put a good old bag. This is sharp cheddar. That is what Panera uses. I'm normally not a fan of sharp cheddar. So when I read that, I was like, Say what? So I'm going to spend some time mixing this up until it is nice and creamy. Go ahead and tilt, tilt it up to you guys. And then I'm gonna show you how we make a roux and we mix it up and combine it. So I'll be right back when it's all mixed up. Okay, so that took mm, about two minutes, but it is two Thin. So now we're going to make our roux. What I did once it turned on to that four minutes is I took my half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and my tablespoon and it's very, very thick. So what it says to do is just take out some of the soup. I've got a big enough bowl and I'm going to take, try not to take some of the broccoli. I'm trying to get more of that actual cheddar. I'm gonna put some into here and start kind of um, incorporating or marrying. Is that the word? Marrying the flavors. And we're gonna keep that saute on. Hopefully it'll bring it to a bubble. So down in this bowl, I'm going to mix these. About kind of making a gravy. Oh yeah, we've got a nice bubble going on in the Instant Pot now. And this is going to help thicken. That's working lovely. Once you see that it's all stirred through, I'm trying to make it so you can see it all, then we just simply add it all back into this pot and incorporate it all the way through. And it might take a few minutes for this entire pot to thicken. Hopefully not too long, but that's the way you don't have all like the traditional lumps and bumps. So basically I'm gonna stand here for about five to six minutes until it gets to the consistency I want and then we'll plate up. So I will see you at the finished product. All right, you have to admit, that looks good. So, so good. All right, Panera bread, low carb, broccoli cheese soup. That is some good, good soup. Okay, so just a reminder, that is really good soup. We're gonna be eating that for two days because we're a small family. 
So it makes eight servings. Click on more for the recipe. If you wanna make it the traditional way, it's six carbs using all purpose flour and you do count the calories as written. If you wanna do it the keto low carb way, which is what I did, you're gonna swap it and the, the instructions are in there to the xanthan gum. And when you do that, you're gonna subtract 17 calories and you're gonna subtract three carbs, which is only three carbs for a bowl instead of six. So either way, it's good, delicious. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye.